Hello and welcome to ePolish EU. On our platform, you can study Polish using eCourse books, which are fully interactive digital versions of our books. eCourse books offer the exact same content as their printed counterparts, but they allow you to study Polish in a more dynamic and immersive way. With real time feedback, access to a multimedia dictionary, recordings with transcripts, and translated instructions. This tutorial will show you how to take full advantage of all these features. To access an eCourse book on our platform, you can either purchase it directly from our store under the eCourse Books section, or activate an access code printed in the physical copy of the corresponding book. All the eCourse books you currently have access to can be found in the eCourse Books folder on your account. Let's open our eCourse book. In the upper left, you can set the language of the eCourse Books interface. This will also affect the language of the instructions and translations in the dictionary. You can switch between the book view and the list view of your eCourse book. The book view corresponds exactly to the layout of the printed book. In the list view, the exercises are displayed one at a time, with the entire list easily accessible on the left. In some cases, the list view will also allow you to access some additional content. In Polski Krok po Kroku 1 and 2, the last segment of every lesson is the test section. Here, you can revise all you've learned throughout the lesson. In Zeszyt Ćwiczeń, switching to the list view will enable you to access dozens of extra exercises that are not included in the printed version of the book. Inside the course book, here you will find a dictionary for each lesson. The translations in the dictionary will be displayed in the same language as the interface of the course book. The other icons represent extra features available exclusively in our eCoursebook Plus offer. Inside the eCoursebook, these features are locked. In the search bar below, you can look up exercise IDs, page numbers, or words in the multimedia dictionary. Most Using the navigation menu at the bottom, you can move between pages, zoom in on specific areas of the page, or zoom in on the entire left or right page. You can also enter full screen mode or exit the course book. You can use the sliding handle to drag the navigation menu to a different spot. To open an exercise in the book view, all you need to do is click on the area of the page where the exercise is located. The exercises offer various types of interactivity, all of which are intuitive and user-friendly. When you open any exercise, you will have the option to generate a PDF or print the exercise, Generate a vocabulary list for this exercise. Not all exercises will contain a vocabulary list. If it's unavailable, the icon will be greyed out. If the exercise includes a recording, you can play the recording here and access its transcript here. If you come across an unfamiliar word, all you need to do is click on it Sekretarka. to view it in our multimedia dictionary. The exercises also provide immediate feedback. You can verify your answers by clicking check. You will see which of your answers were correct, and the number of points you earned will be shown right below the exercise. Clicking on show will display all the correct answers. You can also press clear to clear out your answers and start over. You can redo the exercises as many times as you want. Once you click Check on an exercise, it will be marked as completed on the list. Every completed exercise will be counted towards your progress within the lesson and the entire course. 
If you'd like to reset your progress in a lesson that you've already completed, you can do it by going to the eCoursebooks folder. Hover your mouse over the eCoursebook and select the Info icon. When you uncheck the box next to a given lesson, all your progress in that lesson will be erased. If you own a physical copy of one of our books and have activated a code from this book, you can look up any exercise from it on the platform. Next to each exercise, there is a string of numbers and letters. This is the ID of the exercise. You can type it into the search bar to instantly bring up the interactive version of this exercise. If you have any questions or need any additional help, please refer to our other videos, email us at help at e-polish.eu or use the contact form on our website. Thank you for choosing ePolish and happy learning!